Today I'm going to read you this story and it's called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This one is written by Nick Sharrett and illustrated by Stephen Tucker. And it's a little fairy tale with lift the flap pages. And it's a funny retelling of the classic fairy tale with lift the flap surprises. It says on the blurb, the house was still and quiet for the owners had gone out. Oh goody, giggled Goldilocks. Now I can snoop about, because naughty Goldilocks goes into the three bears cottage and has a look around, doesn't she? And that's not something we should do. So let's have a, have a look at what happens in this funny story of Goldilocks. Goldilocks had big brown eyes and such a pretty smile. She wore her curly yellow hair in funky dreadlock style. While skipping through the wood one day, behind some trees she saw a little house and bold as brass, she barged in through the door. How many birds do we have in the tree? One, two, three birds in the nest. And there's the mummy flying with some food. And here she barges through the door. Uh-oh, what's she going to do when she gets in the house? The house was still and quiet, for the owners had gone out. Oh, goody, giggled Goldilocks. Now I can snoop about. She went into the kitchen and she opened cupboard doors. She checked the fridge and the bread bin and she looked in all the drawers. <gasps> She's very nosy, Goldilocks, isn't she? She saw three bowls of porridge. Yum, she said, and like a shot, she started on the biggest one. The biggest one? But it was much too hot. The porridge in the middle bowl was cold and made her frown. The little bowl just tasted great and she gobbled it all down. Let's have a look what's in the washing machine. <gasps> Lots of clothes. What's in the window? What can we see outside? Socks! And we can see a big pair of stripy socks, a medium spotty socks and some baby bear socks. They must be the three bears socks. Goldilocks went to the lounge. In the biggest chair she sat, but it was hard as iron and she didn't care for that. The middle chair was much too soft she liked the smallest chair, but then it broke. She ended up with both legs in the air. Oh no, look, she's broken baby bear's chair. I wonder what's upstairs, she said. She went to take a peep. And when she saw three beds, she simply had to have a sleep. The big bed was too fancy. The middle bed too boring. The little bed was perfect and soon Goldilocks was snoring. Now three brown bears lived in this house. They came back from their stroll. Daddy Bear growled, somebody's been at my porridge bowl. Mine as well, cried Mummy Bear and Baby Bear squeaked, oh someone's eaten all my porridge, what a greedy so-and-so. Oh no, look at Baby Bear's very sad and very surprised. The three bears went into the lounge. Aha, growled Daddy Bear. I do believe that somebody's been sitting in my chair. My chair too, cried Mummy Bear and Baby squeaked. Boo hoo, my little chair's been broken. What a clumsy thing to do. A mouse in the clock. And what's under this flap? Oh, there was a mouse there with an apple on the next page, so they've eaten it. They went upstairs and Daddy Bear, he stroked his chin and said, It looks to me like someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mummy Bear cried, Mine as well, it me makes me feel quite ill. And Baby Bear squeaked, My bed too, and look! She's in it still. <gasps> What's going to happen? Can you see Goldilocks has left her bracelet in Mummy's bed and some beads in Daddy's bed. What's going to happen next? 
they all stared down at Goldilocks just waking from a dream and she saw three furry faces and gave a piercing scream. Ah! She didn't hang about, she ran straight home you can be sure and next time that the bears went out, guess what? They locked the door. That's a good idea when you leave your house, isn't it? To make sure that the door is locked so you don't have a little girl called Goldilocks coming to eat all your porridge, break all your chairs and sleep in all of your beds. I hope you enjoyed Goldilocks this week, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the story. I can't wait to see what we read next week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>